Now, medical experts have made recommendations on how to improve health financing and ensure efficiency in Nigeria. Now, these came up on the sidelines of a continuing medical education program in Lagos with a the theme, Healthcare Diversification in a Developing Economy. Details in this report. The way a country finances its healthcare system is a critical determinant for reaching universal health coverage. In Nigeria, the health sector is financed through different sources and mechanisms. Unfortunately, achieving the correct blend remains a challenge. Medical experts have converged on this CME meeting put together by Cleaner Lancet to tackle some of the inherent challenges. Access to healthcare, interdisciplinary collaboration, as well as medical assets financing take center stage. Well, we know that most of the patients in Nigeria, about 70% of them are out of pocket. But there are initiatives that have been in place. We've always had health insurance. We have um, donors as well. And the government has also earmarked the basic health care um, fund that they've put in place to be able to help the citizen to access it. So apart from budgetary allocation, these are um, areas and ways that we can now see that the government as well and even the private sector is trying to synergize and help to, you know, ensure that the citizens are able to afford health care. Uh, there are lots of health care enthusiasts that do not even have access to the right funding, thereby not being able to set up, um, you know, the kind of standard that they probably want to set up, not being able to you know, the kind of um, technology or equipment, modern equipment, that are necessary for, um, you know, a startup healthcare organization. So basically, in the medical laboratory um, space where we play, um, over the years there's been improvement, there's been a lot of entrance. The professionals does course on cancer management in Nigeria, its efficiency, and the need to ensure standardization in the medical laboratory science space. Is that go into determining what we now talk about in cancer care is individualized, uh, personalized treatment. And it means that if Mr. A and Mr. B have a particular cancer, because of their genetic makeup, they will not manifest the cancer in the same way. And they may necessarily not benefit from the same treatment. So those are the things that will be updating the community about that. Cancer is not one disease, but it is a heterogeneous disease. And for the laboratory, what is expected is the ISO 15189, the 2012 version. Now, two days ago, the 2022 version was just published. So it gives room for additional provisions for the capturing of the quality standard. So when you understand the quality standard, now you begin to look at it, how can we implement it? So the implementation of it is key. Now some of the challenges include um, uh, the ability for us to understand what is expected from us, two personnel that have this uh, quality management system expert, the infrastructure technology to ensure that this is done. And with the rate of brain drain currently in, um, in, in the country, a lot of our experts which we are training are moving Across, across the country. There is a dire need to ensure that resources are used more efficiently, while at the same time removing financial barriers by shifting focus from out-of-pocket payment OOPs to order hidden resources. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.